child. He was so powerful that when he went out on the, on the street in the 1800s, all the carriages and everybody, all the pedestrians had to stand at attention, petrified, as, as a game of statues, until the Rothschild carriage passed. And that shows me that these guys are behind, a, uh, and like you said, it's a, some kind of conspiracy, international conspiracy, behind this kind of thing to overthrow any kind of independent movement that's out there. I appreciate it, Alex. Well, it's true. The Rothschilds indirectly funded Hitler. They funded the Bolsheviks on record. Uh, they funded Napoleon and then helped bring him down. I mean, it's all in the history books. And I have read about different Rothschilds so powerful that everyone would stand at attention like when the Queen of England was around. And they were so powerful, they intermarried with the royalty. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, who do you think's funding all this stuff? It's unbelievable. Radon in Idaho, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good prank call. Appreciate that. Uh, Jerry in Ohio, you're on the air. Go ahead. How you doing, Alex Jones? I'm a longtime listener, and hey, I do spread the uh, InfoWars message. Thank you, brother. And uh, I just want to make a couple quick comments. Uh, here in Northeast Ohio, uh, they're really getting the people primed to uh, stand at attention. We got these FEMA churches that are giving out food. Uh, people got to get there like 6 o'clock in the morning, no matter what the weather's like. They won't open the doors to like 10 o'clock, but they got people that walk down the line and tell people, you know, uh, you got to stand here, you know. You, no, no, you that's just like this. the Soviet Union. They had plenty of food, but it was all about making you stand at attention for five hours. It is training you and wasting your time and teaching you that only they have it. In Venezuela, they make the children pray to Jesus when they're hungry in the morning, and then no milk or cereal is given. Then you pray to Chavez, the milk and cereal is given. And, and, and also, Alex, uh, they're buying up these parks. They're creating parks, but uh, the, the strange thing about it, they have a road going through them, but the road has always got a barrier that's closed. And I believe that they're going to convert some of these parks. Into well, well, sir, your gut is right. It's, it's on record that the major sports stadiums and major parks are designated as emergency centers under FEMA. So your gut is right, and it's public intel. And uh, I, one of your uh, one of your documents that you put out had an octopus uh, uh, over the globe, and it said uh, nowhere we can't reach. Uh, no, no, that was the NSA know. put that out, and they make jokes and say that we are in 1984 and laugh at the American people and describe us as the enemy. I appreciate uh, your call. God bless you, sir. Great points. Let's talk to Tom in Kansas. Tom, you're on the air. And I guess that was his point about leaving the country. There's nowhere they can't reach. Go ahead, uh, Tom. Hey, Alex. I got a few points. Um, one is the uh, strategic relocation. Uh, I bought it, read it, and uh, watched the video. Excellent work. Uh, if I if I got it right, I haven't read it in some time, but I I think the Oz was the Ozarks the safest place on earth that that uh, Joel Skousen came up. He with? said it was a safer area. The best place in Texas is the Hill Country, strangely enough, where I live. Uh, then there's also uh, the area in and around areas of Utah into Idaho. He says that's very safe. Okay. I wonder if that's where that prank caller was calling from. Well, if everything collapses, that prank caller can call in and make prank calls. Exactly. Um, how about nascent? Let's go to nascent iodine. Um, <clears throat> the RDA on the bottle is six drops. And uh, I didn't feel like I was getting enough from that. So do you think it's uh, okay to, like, take 12 or... Sir, you do whatever you want. Things? You need to consult your physician. We go with the FDA uh, recommendation. I mean, under Agenda 21, they're gonna, in Europe, they've lowered stuff down to almost nothing, even lower than here. Uh, but uh, whatever's good for your body, I'm not going to give medical advice here. All I can say is it's been life-changing for me. And as stressful as my life is, uh, I've lost even more weight. I, even, I have even more stamina. Uh, and it's just been simply amazing. I mean, people can look at how I look. I mean, it's just, it's just done incredible things for me, and that's why it's a godsend that we were able to develop this product with Dr. Group and bring it to folks, uh, the InfoWars uh, Survival Shield at InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, is the other one that you talk about, is it, it is as potent as the nascent? 
It's, no, it's, it's got a much lower dose of the nascent iodine in it, but it can be taken with it, according to Dr. Group. It's got five other things that supercharge the detoxification, and that's the fluoride shield. I take both together. Then there's the super male vitality, which uh, I do take some of, and well, let's just say, try it, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> New year, new website, new ways to protect your health and privacy. To thank you for our recent success, BlockItPocket.com is extending our holiday offers. See these new, get one free New Year deals only at BlockItPocket.com and only through January 31st. Enhance cell phone and wireless device safety and security with products that work from a family-owned American business. Call or click 888-315-9618 or BlockItPocket.com. Your source for wireless protection and information. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> We're going to be talking to Wayne Madsen at WayneMadsenReport.com. We're going to go to Billy, Alex, Chris, Paul, William, everybody as well. You can address his questions to him. He, he's as smart as I am or smarter. He can answer all your questions. 
He was formerly in anti-submarine warfare, then recruited by the NSA. He headed up one of their internal security operations. And he is the consummate original NSA whistleblower testifying to parliaments, the EU, parliament, uh, you name it, Congress. And he basically has broken, I'd say, half of what we know, along with James Bamford and others uh, being part of the other half. Uh, and I'm not poo-pooing Snowden. It's just that he's the proto-Snowden. But he did it back when they didn't arrest every whistleblower for exposing crime. Since then, I've just marveled at everything he talks about coming true. I want to talk to Wayne Madsen first about The Purge. Dinesh D'Souza had movies coming out to try to unify America. He had another film they were going to work on later, uh, I've been told by high-level sources, about Hillary. He's now been indicted on petty stuff, pled not guilty. The governor of Virginia could beat Hillary. Uh, he's been indicted. Uh, the Veritas Project, or Project Veritas, the governor's preparing basically to indict them with subpoenas. Uh, so they're going after everybody. And I, Bob Barr last week warned of this. I, I talked about it before it even happened. What do you know about the purge going on and uh, this next phase of what Obama may try to do? Because he's openly behaving as a dictator now. I thought he'd leave office and just transfer dictatorial power to the executive the special interest wanted. Why would the system gamble and get this naked? Or are the Clintons doing a power move trying to actually take over Wayne Madsen? What is your high-level inside intel telling you? Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same, as the French uh, always say. Look, the second term is always a pitfall for a lot of presidents. They get a little too uh, cocky in their second term. They think they're uh, you know, they can do anything they want. Look what happened to Richard Nixon. Look what happened to Ronald Reagan. Nixon with Watergate, Ronald Reagan with Iran-Contra. Uh, there's going to be uh, an attempt now to uh, create a long-lasting legacy for Obama. And, uh, you know, look, these, these second-term guys think that they're pretty invulnerable, after all. They, we've got a lot of uh, history uh, to back that up. Um, and um, I noticed the just um, uh, yesterday the, um, um, the the Virginia Senate went to the um, uh, Democrats by a uh, eleven vote margin. You know these close elections are rather. I, I think they're it's, to, to see so many elections within a razor's edge. I just don't think that's statistically possible to see so many, not just in this country, but around the world. I, I, I think that they're still fixing uh, these elections. So we've got that going on as well. I agree with you that it's a power grab ahead of trying to get Hillary in. But there's something different. It's so rapacious, so aggressive. Do you think there's any chance they might stage domestic false flags and then try to keep Obama in office? Well, it's funny you mention that. Look, uh, look at the report today of uh, what happened uh, with um, Hamid Karzai. Uh, you know, our puppet in Afghanistan, but even sometimes puppets uh, get a mind of their own. Hamid Karzai is now accusing the United States of staging false flag terrorist attacks that are being blamed on the Taliban to undermine his regime. So, you know, we're told that false flags don't exist, that this is in the realm of conspiracy theories. Well, I guess if that's true, we've got a new conspiracy theorist uh, in Hamid Karzai, somebody who was groomed by the United States Intelligence Services, placed in power, and been maintained in power all these many years by uh, the United States at a very, uh, a very expensive cost in both blood and treasure. If we describe this as a football game, how is it going for the different corrupt regimes? Because people are waking up more than ever, but at the same time, they are just dissolving the basic liberties, putting currency controls in, capital controls in. We see the clamps going on right now. Why do you think that's happening? Well, I think uh, the, these governments, look, they're, the, the jet set just met again in Davos at their annual love-in. And of course, who, who was there this year? The, the new president of Iran, Rouhani. So... It looks like uh, Iran is now going to be brought into the fold. Uh, what's happening in Ukraine right now is is really a shot at, at that uh, Vladimir Putin. Let's talk about that when we come back. The geopolitical rundown report with Wayne Madsen. We, I can't think of a better person to give us an analysis. He's traveled the whole world. 
as the sources. Uh, yeah, George Soros' people trying to overthrow the Ukraine after they voted down merging with the EU. We'll be back on the other side with Wayne Madsen, your phone calls, and more. Stay with us. We're on the mark.